In this live self-defense training video, you're gonna discover five strikes for self-defense using your self-defense short stick. The first strike I want you to practice is gonna be a simple thrusting motion. When the threat is coming into your face, I want you to stop him in his tracks. You're gonna push this either into the face, anything that's soft, soft tissue, nose, teeth, eyes, throat, solar plexus, all through the center line of his body, just a simple thrust. If you extend your arm and turn your shoulders and hips, you're gonna get more reach, more power, more speed, more strength. When you also take a step, you're gonna go right through your target. So number one of the five strikes for self-defense using your short stick for self-defense is going to be a simple thrusting motion. The second one, I want you to bring it from your shoulder and strike through at this simple angle. You're coming, think about into the temple or into the jaw or into his ear or his neck, one of the joints that will break easier than the bone in the arm. Striking into that hand as he reaches out to hit you or grab you or stab you, smashing into that wrist. So the second of the five strikes for self-defense using your short self-defense strike is this angular strike coming off the same shoulder. On your right shoulder, it comes off from the right coming straight through the target. You wanna keep these nice and tight and never swinging from out here. This is too wide, he's gonna close the distance, your arm will wrap around him and it won't work. Starting from here, if he steps in, coming straight in, you're gonna strike him here. So number one, thrust, number two, strike. Number three is coming off of that opposite shoulder. And it's a backhanded strike, which means it's gonna be very hard, very fast. You're gonna come through the target in the same way. So number one, in, number two, number three, number four, you're gonna swing your whole arm, your shoulders and your hips, creating a lot of power, using all this leverage, putting all the power in the tip of your short self-defense stick and putting it into his temple or into his eye or into the ear, into the neck, into the jaw, into the ribs for self-defense. You're striking in, turning your whole body. Good morning, it's good to see you. So number one, thrust coming through, here, swinging around here, and the fourth one is going to be coming back from the opposite side using this little bit that you left hanging off the end. This little bit is going to do a lot. When you bring it into his eyes or his mouth or his neck or his throat, coming down into the solar plexus, swinging into his ribs, into the hips, maybe it's down lower into one of the legs. So you're thrusting, strike, strike, swing, coming in here, and then finally coming straight down on the top of his head. If you can knock him out, put him to sleep, you don't have to worry about what kind of weapon he might have, what else, who else is there, there might be multiple attackers, you're free, fearing for your life, you're defending your life, you're going to use aggressive self-defense, thrust, one, two, three, four, striking down on top. Now, with your hands both on your short stick for self-defense, you can also do this pushing, thrusting motion, shoving this hard bar of oak, this is an inch and a quarter, piece of oak. It's 18 inches long. This is known as the Japanese Tanbo. We just call it a short stick for self-defense. I teach this here. I make a lot of these and sell a lot of these. If you want one, I put a link below. But your hands are here. You're going to push through. In this motion from here, you're turning your wrist out and you're flicking against the side of his head. Now that's a flick, but that's a powerful flicking motion. That comes back here, bounces against your hand. You can do it from one hand to the other hand going very quickly, just simply turning that wrist. It's come from Irish stick fighting. The others, these basic motions come from all traditional Asian martial arts, especially the Filipino martial arts, but you're gonna twist here, twist here. Just practice that simple motion. You can also bring it into the hand, let the fingers open a little bit, and then close them. This accelerates the strike. When you start to come forward into these angular strikes coming down, you can add more speed, more power by opening the hand a little bit. Don't take the fingers off, but a little bit, and then practice closing. You walk around the house using your practice self-defense stick and just snap it. Now, you might not have your stick with you everywhere you go, but you're gonna have your self-defense skills everywhere you go. You're gonna have the basic ability to defend yourself using any kind of a stick because you do your training. So do the training at home and then carry the stick with you. So from here, you're just snapping forward from one side, snapping forward from the other side. So for review, the five strikes with your self-defense short stick, you have a pushing motion, turning your shoulders and hips, taking a little step with that front foot, coming through, stopping him in his tracks. You can go into the eyes. You have to ask yourself the question, what can you remove or destroy? 
his ability to see, breathe, breathe uh, temporarily, permanently, his ability to stand up and breathe right through the solar plexus, going down into the thin fascia. That's going to put him right on the ground. Number two, coming off that shoulder, coming off the other shoulder. Number three, number four, swinging through, bringing this hard piece of oak into his face, into his body. Number four, striking, coming from that other side with this short piece. Number five, striking down on top. And then bonus, with two hands pushing, you can also box his ears like this, hitting with both sides, and then twisting your hand from one side, going to the other. Notice that your shoulder, as you turn, you get more reach. You extend by turning the shoulder and hip getting more speed, more power, snapping in with these basic uh, snapping, flipping motions, turning your wrist over. If you want one of these, again, the link is below. If you wanna see what it is, it's an inch and a quarter. This is made out of oak. Make your own. You can go to the hardware store, get a 36 inch dowel rod, cut it in half. You've got two, practice with one, carry one with you when you go out where you can carry it. These are great for self-defense, the basic short, uh, short self-defense stick. I'll see you guys just in a little bit. Thank you.